What's going on, everybody? Hope y'all are having a good one. Uh, potentially the final vehicle update uh, before Axial Fest. I may get the wrecker out. Uh, just go over it one more time, but I'm not sure yet. Still got some work to do on the Bronco. Nevertheless, got the race fixed. Got a few things changed, and it should be good to go. Um, try to make this one here quick. Probably not going to have anything terribly interesting since uh, it's not a rock crawler. But we'll see. I'll run through the what all I've done to this thing over the years here. I started off as a Wraith 1.9. Um, but the only thing left that is original is the cage and body situation. And then the transmission might be the uh, stock transmission that was in here. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it's running a Castle Mamba X and a 2280 censored kv motor uh, that's going through uh, axial three gear not sure what size pinion i've got on here but i know it's one of the biggest ones you can put on there at least i was trying to get some wheel speed up since i've got some smaller two twos here but running ar60s out of a uh, bomber um these knockoff boggers are the same ones i've been running on here for a while um i had them on a aluminum five spoke beadlock oh my god that servo is just noisy as hell that's better uh but at some point or another i must have uh landed pretty badly and actually bent one of the rims a little bit and it had a terrible wobble i could not get out of it so i swapped over to these plastic uh, bead locks that were on also the same bomber that these axles came off of um it's got a savox something or other fancy edition servo um i honestly can't remember what it is exactly um, buddy gave that one to me a while back it's some um, fancy edition something or other um yeah stock foams in these particular tires um one thing I had to fix was I busted a front drive shaft down at Beat the Creek. So now I've got, uh, they're the cut to length metal drive shafts uh, off of Amazon. The front links are stock bomber plastic. Uh, steering links are metal just to get rid of that floppy steering situation. The links in the rear are some random high clearance links. I honestly couldn't even tell you what those came off of or what they were meant for. Um, just threw them together to get the wheelbase right. Uh, scale, I think it's scaled by Chris. That 3D printed bad insert which is uh, also my receiver box at the moment. Um, went ahead and threw the last little Sasquatch driver head on here. Um, I am not a very detail-oriented painter, so this one is hideous and has some shiny goldish paint in there. I didn't have much to choose from, and I was not going out and buying paint for this. He's a little bit taller than the cage, but 
it is what it is. I think I've got four out of the five trucks that I'm taking over there has got some sort of a Sasquatch driver or co-pilot. Uh, the only other thing I've got going on here is um, had to make a little piece to hold the smaller batteries and yeah I don't know I've got a whole bunch going on here cut out the whole servo mount and everything when I first got this and did the capper axle conversion um, made a little battery tray to go in there and with the shorter fat batteries every time I would jump this thing and it would flip over it was like popping the hood out yay far in the back so got a piece of aluminum in there spam the hood it's ugly but keeps everything solid so i think that that is it this thing's not anything really special it is literally just a trail basher hill climb kind of set up uh, but it's good to have over there there's a lot of trails and uh, a lot of hills to bash up so got it running we're gonna go for a quick uh, thrash around the pit climb up a couple hills and uh, call it a day like I said this thing is not in rock crawler mode and these tires uh not good for crawling uh, the lugs and the carcass of this tire are hard as hell uh, you'll hear it just in the lug noise if i do get hemmed up on a rock somewhere but they dig like crazy in the dirt so throw these body pins back in go for a quick run around the pit and back to the garage and finish wrenching on the bronco The way this thing's set up at the moment, uh, I've got forward brake and then reverse on here. Uh, that way I've actually got some braking action at high speeds and no drag brake. So don't expect any of that. It'll do some light crawling, but it is noisy as hell between that servo and the castle ESC. Aside from the electronics, uh, this thing probably has the least amount of squeaks out of all the trucks I've got at the moment, which is kind of surprising because relatively speaking this one gets beat up the most and run through the water the most still gets the job done better not try to go up the top section it's just gonna flip over backwards
bit of a tree root there hanging up on the front desk the first time didn't see that it's covered in leaves Just out of curiosity. Let's see if this thing stands a chance going up the spiral staircase. I know it definitely does not have the turning radius. Even though these tires are not soft and grippy, the uh the blocky lugs might just have enough to grab onto the corners and the edges of the wood. Heck yeah. Like it was nothing. Might not be a bad idea to go back into uh, Castle Link and put a little bit of drag brake in here. It has actually zero drag brake at the moment. This is also probably ridiculous to try with the way this thing is set up, but eh. this whole thing's kind of ridiculous. What do you know? It actually made it. It's gonna come blasting down the slide. I mean, it's not the fastest thing in the world by any means, but definitely got enough wheel speed to have a little bit of fun Let's see if it can slow climb it huh it's got plenty of dig